Yeah, guys, I got these wheels spinning beautifully now. Look at that. This is the old Compo, the one I was complaining about earlier. Just got that hub readjusted. I have a beautiful set of cone wrenches, and uh, I did the front and rear hub. Even the rear hub is uh, spinning beautifully now. But look at that front hub. Look at that. She's not going to stop. And why isn't she going to stop? Not going to stop? Because those hubs have been repacked. They have fresh grease in them. Yeah, they're loose bearings, but if they're adjusted properly, no lateral movement at all. This wheel is completely true. It's just that tire. And I haven't reset the tire simply because it's a really old tire. I'm assuming it's uh, as old as the bike, so 2018. Do the math, you know. Um, I'm just going to wear out the tires because the tires have a ton of tread on them. Let's look at the back tire real quick. Hey, Kobe. Kobe's a bike mechanic too. And uh, see all that tread? There's no reason to uh, replace that tire yet. Uh, got the headset adjusted. And it's just old, old stuff, guys. Um, like I told you earlier, got rid of all the surface rust. Got that handlebar nice and straight now. Put a little uh, <coughs> cat eye computer on it. So it works out kind of nice. You know, the stem is still too long, the seat bow is still too short. But uh, it's an old compo, and I don't think it was designed for anything more than just tootling around and having a good time on a folding bike. This one folds beautifully. Um, and this one actually was made when um, they didn't have the brazons for the magnets. So this one doesn't have any magnet attachments. Because I would have put the old magnets I took off my Libertaires, I would have put them on this bike. But there's no brazons, as you can see. So this one just folds together. It still has the folding pedals. Let me show you real quick, guys. So folding pedals, pretty simple to use. Um, you compress them like so, and then they fold. See that? So it's kind of a nifty little idea if you like platform pedals. Then they go back out. So it works out perfect, guys. So anyways, um, that's the Zizzo Compo basically refurbished um it's a flat black i don't know if i should try to polish it out but I, I literally got all the rust off it you know and i spent my day off doing it added a few accents like the red valve cap uh, i don't know if you could yeah there we go focus in on that a little bit um and there's the one red that somebody touched up um well the previous owner touched up and I think I'm going to keep the, the rack on the Arbano. I don't think I'm going to put it on this bike. Simply because I don't fit as comfortably on this bike. Because it's just, just a little too upright for me. So this will just be the trailer or the bicycle for the doggy trailer. And uh, now that the wheels are spinning, now that the brakes are working beautifully, you know, there's no reason for me to... Uh, do anything else to it. I'm just going to keep it nice and clean, uh, keep it really, really well lubed and operational. So if I run into somebody who just wants to try out a folding bike, this is the bike I'll lend out or, or give to that person. Um, and I'm almost guaranteed they'll fall in love with the bike. You know, it's just a fun, fun bike. Um, it's only flaw. It's a little too upright for me. But I have the Libertaires, both of them. And I also have the Urbano, which, uh, you know, fit me perfectly and are stretched out nicely. So I'm going to go out and do a little spin and uh, talk to you guys all soon.